to introduce yourself or anything? You can get coach. Huh? You're the boss. No, I don't want for the camera to like say something like introduce yourself. You can. Go ahead. Do it. All right. I'm Lance Bill. This is my project for Kinesiology 360. We teach you how to swing. Uh, there's uh, different parts to a swing. Uh, as, as anything in any kind of uh, properly how to swing a bat in baseball or softball, everything always starts with a stance. Right now, before you put a bat in your hand, everybody line up right here. Uh, get in a good athletic position. So say, we, the way we want to make sure we're starting is we're not necessarily in a closed, uh, in a directly parallel position. And we want to make sure what we're doing is that front foot and everybody's right uh, I'm assuming everybody's right handed for right now. Face with me, face me, place on this side. What we want to do is make sure that you can have a different kind of stance with a closed stance, which means your front foot on the plate is a little more forward, you have more of an open stance. Takes your front foot here, and you push it, and you'll go in the middle of your stuff. There you go. You want a slight bend of the knees, making sure you maintain an athletic balance position. A lot of this stuff about hitting is all about comfort. You want to ensure that you're in a comfortable position. There is no exact science, no way to say this is exactly how you have to hit, because it's more to do what you become comfortable with doing. Okay. The next thing we want to make sure we're doing throughout is we're going to, uh, that front foot. We're looking at is pointing 45 degrees at first base. I'm going to say right now, first base is uh, the slight pull right here. Let me see that front foot staying 45 degrees. Okay. So from this part, what we want to, we're going to introduce the first part of our swing, which is called your load step. I think you're shifting your weight and you're getting yourself into position to transfer your weight into one of your swings from your lower body. So that first step of your load, you're transferring weight, going forward, step taking your step forward. Some people take uh, take a step. It's a different way you can do it. Most people, where I'm, where I teach it, you want to make sure we're just going about a about a foot forward, maintaining your body on line. Every time we hit, we're going to make sure our body's completely on line, parallel, going back to the second base. So at this point, everybody, in, in your stance, seemingly like having a bat. What I want to say right now is we're going to say low, everybody. Take that low step, bring your body back on line. Take that step forward, uh, going back towards second. Ready, load. All right, relax. All right. The next part we want to add in any kind of swing is your hips. The most important part of, of any kind of swing is using your lower body and losing your core. So your second step after load is your hips, which you want to make sure at this point, when I'm getting my hips into it, maintaining my load step, going forward, my front foot still maintaining between pitcher and second base, I want to get my hips. I want my back foot to be pointed back towards second, hips pointed towards second, my entire body back on line, going back towards uh, center field. So the next so it goes from the first step is load, same step. Next step we want to do is make sure we're throwing, we're getting our hips behind it, maintaining our hands still behind our hips. Okay, we'll add the, we'll add the second part, the third part with the hips, the hands out. Ready, load. Right now, you're all bound. So too far up, you can too far transfer. And the weight is too much transfer forward. I mean, make sure when you're loading, you're still in an athletic enough position that I can, be, I can jump. It's all right. Ready? Go back. Start from the beginning. Ready? Load. No play baseball. Hips. You're going to hit the hips. Get your hips in line like you're going to foul. Like pivot. Pivoting it back. So doing that back foot is once you load, I'm pivoting, getting my hips, and turning using the entire uh, back side of my body and rotating, that's where my power is coming from in the swing. Okay? Ready? Load. Not that too much of a step. Step forward, you want to make sure when you're stepping forward, your body's going back no matter where you're standing from here. My body's always coming back on line. Everything's uh, parallel with each other. Okay? Start back from the beginning. Ready? Load. Hips. Right now, this point, I can put our hands through the uh, third step of the swing. We want to add, we want to add, we want to add a swing. Okay? So I uh, like call it hands. Third part. So once we do, take it back. When we're here, we're loading. Body's back on line, getting our hips. We want to ensure any kind of different situations, pitching and hitting anything, our hands are staying behind our hips, ready to make contact. Okay? Which is the Actually, the follow-on after is your contact phase of the swing. 
Once I load, hips, my hands, my elbows staying inside, uh, maintaining a box with my arms. From uh, elbow to elbow, I'm here, head, head staying down, keeping my head in the hole. If you ever see the keep your head in the hole. Maintain your, 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 uh, your eyes down at the plate, and we're, we're waiting for that contact to the position of our back. Okay? Ready? Everybody see what we got? Back to step one. Ready? Load. Hips. Get your hands. hands are still here. Ready to go. We're waiting for that fourth step. Okay, ready? Start from the beginning again. Ready? Load. Hips. Next part, the next two parts is the contact phase. At this point, what we're doing, we're seeing where the ball's at, we're judging if it's an off-speed pitch, we're judging if it's an outside, inside pitch, and how we want to make sure we're making contact with the bat. So once we get to our contact phase, load, hips, hands, here we're finding where it's at. We're adjusting our bower from where we're at. This is our contact phase. This is where we want to generate our most power from that hips and hands. Even though they're separate steps, it's all one continuous thing together. Once we get here, hips, we're finding it, and we're, once we're making contact, we're finishing through with, with our extension. So in the last few steps, we contact and extension phase. Okay? So uh, let's go walk through it real quick. Ready? Load. Hips. Contact. Extension. Extension is when you finish, when you're following through, and you finish your swing. At this point, when you finish your follow through, my entire body should be on line going dead center. Load, hips, hands, and I'm finished. At this point, when I'm finishing, my entire body, front foot is down towards first, hips are going back towards second, back foot is going back down, is, uh, is going back, back towards center. Heel, heel can be, uh, is off the ground, exploding. One big thing we got to make sure with our feet is that front foot is never on heel. A lot of people are swinging, they make sure they come up. Whenever one want to dip, everything's staying on line. Right now we're going to work. I got two bats right here. We'll do it at a time. Walk through the process. Ready? Start to the stand. This here. Pipe in. Stay comfortable. Ready? Load. Hips. Contact. Extension. Good job, make sure you maintain two hands on the bat going through at this point. Next two up. Ready. Light bend. Go back. Get too much weight on the more balance and things. If you're going to shift any of your weight, you want to make sure it's some of your weight slightly on your back. Not totally, because you want to make sure that's where you're generating that power and your plant's coming through. Ready? Load. Hit. Contact. Extension. Finishing through. Not bad job right here. Next two up. Next two up. Part of the kind of transition we're going to next to. One thing we want to make sure we don't do when we swing is we cast. 
everybody goes, everybody's been fishing before, casting, we're just throwing our arms out there. We're not using our entire body. Ready? Load. Uh, oh, it's a shizzle trip. Go ahead. Load. Hips. Contact. Right now, we're going to push too far out right now. Right now, we're not just we're not hitting with our arm. We're using our entire, we're using our entire knees, thighs, glutes, obliques, everything up when we go through extension. So we gotta make sure when we're hitting, we're gonna wall. Uh, 